Greetings, welcome. Thank you for joining me everyone. Thank you for joining the channel. Welcome to any new subscribers. This video is about frequency and light as you can see by the picture in front of you. Now we all know various channels on YouTube that work in energy, energy messages, energy healing, messages of frequency. Some of them that I follow who are particularly good and I'm sure a lot of you already know these people are Lee Harris, Luna Ash, Magenta Pixie, Ascension Pioneers. I love listening to all of the messages that those guys pass out and their, their information is very new, it's very enlightening. Um, they have an amazing connection to the etheric where they get their messages from and they all tell a slightly different or they all talk of slightly different perspectives but overall it's about energy and frequencies. Listening to various different channels, including the ones I've just mentioned, over a period of years, it has become really apparent that we are entering a timeline, if you like, of new frequency energy coming into the planet. And when that new frequency energy comes to the planet, it obviously affects us because we're part of the planet. We're a living organism on the planet. So what I have managed to capture which I think is maybe relatively new, I don't seem to have seen this phenomenon before myself, is what you see in front of you in the rainbow. So I've experienced a lot of really intense rainbows lately, it, mainly because where I live it's been quite wet. But apart from that, I have just seen so many numerous rainbows. I'm always uh, really in awe of the majesty of rainbows and the beauty so I often will stop and take a photo. So I'm lucky enough to have many photos of different rainbows to categorize or reference point them. But it was just yesterday that I noticed this rainbow above the roof of my house actually and I took a second look and I went wow there's, there's something under the main colors of that rainbow. There's another band of something that's emanating and you could physically see that with your eyes. So I decided to get my camera out and very quickly take some photos of it and have put it on the computer and had a look at what I saw and was amazed to see the new frequency wave of colour that is now under the rainbow and as you can see if I point my arrow to it, you can't miss it. It's this white light. This technically has not been visual before when we have viewed rainbows. And in fact, there's even another amount of color under it again, which was very, very difficult to see. But I could also see that with my eyes as well. But it's not showing up on the photo particularly well. It looks like another ray of the purple light. So given that we have always only seen rainbows with the seven colors and we've now got this addition underneath of it of what appears to be white light or crystal white frequency, we have to ponder what type of message or what type of awareness or what type of timeline we are opening up to. If we go back to saying that this new visible band of light within the seven color spectrum of the, rainbow light, of the rainbow light is the new energy. Now this could be the new energy that has been referenced for a long time from the people that work with energy healing. It can also possibly be that given that it appears like white light, it could be referred to as a Christ light, so Christ energy. This could be the coming of the Christ white light that many Christians refer to. So this is the portal of new energy that is coming across the planet and we are lucky enough to actually visually see its energy emanation in a time span or a moment of time such as a rainbow is able to produce. 
So what the feeling of this white light is doing is that it is feeling as if it is raising a frequential vibration, an emanation of white light frequency that it's providing us. It's also giving the feeling of the soul star chakra, which is above the crown chakra. So the eighth chakra is what it could be illuminating or lightening us to be aware of. And given that the rainbow traditionally has the seven colors and now there's an eighth band in it which is the eighth chakra the soul star now the eighth chakra is about galactic connection galactic understanding and awareness divine love spiritual compassion spiritual selflessness this could also be associated with the age of aquarius so the coming of aquarius which is an ear sign and we are seeing this band of light in the ear. Aquarius is also very much about free thinking, breaking free of the boundaries, introducing new thought concepts, ideas and patterns, expansion of the mind, expansion of the soul and expansion of the physical realm. So these are some of the visual perspectives that are now being able to be seen as we take on board the understanding of the teachings of the new energy that is coming through to the planet. We are also about to start a new solar cycle on earth here which I think lasts for 10 years or 9 years so this could also have something to do with the timing of the new solar cycle. The uh, the transitioning into the age of Aquarius, the awakening of the soul chakra and the expansion of our minds and timelines. There was another rainbow uh, that was particularly vivid and uh, so unusually bright that I came across a couple of weeks ago and this is an example of it here. You can just see the very beginnings of the white light under the other seven colors of the rainbow if you follow my arrow down here but it wasn't perhaps quite as um, obvious as the one that I took yesterday but in hindsight when I went back to this rainbow I could see the white color underneath it this is another example of the rainbow I noticed a couple of weeks back. It was actually a double rainbow, as you can see over here, as you can see over here. You do know that double rainbows, the second rainbow is an inversion of this one. So the second one is a reflection of the first rainbow. That's generally what a uh, double rainbow is. But again, if you just take a look here, there is this very small white line that is beginning to show. You can just faintly see it. I think yesterday's rainbow had a brighter division of the white light so perhaps that infers that it has been uh, growing steadily over the last few weeks with more visual impact that has just recently happened. This is just another example of the same double rainbow, again captured a couple of weeks ago. And we can see up here just that band of white showing a little bit in the background beneath the magenta or the purple colour. Here's another very bright rainbow that I noticed in the skies. This would be about Three weeks ago, again I was lucky enough to have my phone on me to take a photo of the rainbow. But if we zoom in to this one, you can see that there isn't the white band where the purple ray is. So the purple is the last band in the rainbow along here. So that's classically what rainbows would normally look like. It's still a very bright rainbow. Um, another thing too I learned recently about rainbows because I've been studying them a little bit more, that when the arc is really, really high like that, this is when the sun is lower or closer to the equator. 
so either early morning or towards late afternoon. And when the arc of the rainbow is much lower, this is when it is more like midday, so when the sun is in the high in the sky. This is another example of a traditional rainbow taken about a month and a half ago, um, just driving along the highway. And again, there are no white bands under the purple. That's just a, your traditional rainbow. So we, we definitely are seeing the, the visible signs of the energy, the new energy waves that are coming in with the white light, the white Christ energy light, the crystal ray. I'm not sure what, what name will actually be given to the frequency of the rainbows with the white light. But there is no doubt that when you come back and visually see this again, you can definitely see the white ray under the other seven colours. So this is something about a new energy frequency that is coming forward for us, enabling us to expand our own consciousness, our own awareness in the universe, our understanding of what is, the realities of what is. This could open up dimensional timelines, uh, transitional shifts, timeline activations and awareness. So if I take you back to the relation that the chakra system and the body has to the colours of the rainbow, I have this chart here for you to view and I'll read it to you. The traditional chakra colours follow the spectrum of the rainbow. While the extended system may add colours associated with metals or other elements, among them are gold, platinum and a combination of colours that are sometimes referred to as opalescence or iridescence for the highest frequencies. The eighth and ninth chakras are generally represented above the head and the tenth chakra slightly under the ground. So be aware that this whole understanding of extra chakra systems, what they are, what they represent and the colours they represent is still relatively new and there are many different alternatives that uh, various philosophies and people are still uh, feeling into and bringing into awareness. So if we look at the chart there, we can see that the eighth chakra is time, transcendence and connection to spirit. The ninth chakra is the seat of the soul. The eleventh chakra is mind over matter. Twelfth chakra is universal unity. So looking a little bit further down, reading a little bit more, the position of the eighth chakra, located slightly above the crown chakra, about an inch above it. With the eighth chakra we enter realms transcending space and time. This energy center is said to open access to parallel universes and lives. It gains access to the realm of the Akashic Records and the sphere of potentialities in the making. It is a useful center for shamanic healing and communication with spirit guides. You can, we could continue reading the 9th, the 10th and the 11th. These are all obviously higher realms or further extensions of the physicality of the human body, mind and spirit as we know it. But I think the most interesting is the 8th chakra where it talks about transcending space and time and opens the access to parallel universes. So in many ways this is in a way connected to the Mandela effect as well which if any of you are aware of the Mandela effect issues this is when people have recognised instances where things are different than they currently experience as if they have hopped into different timelines. So with this new energy frequency coming in with this white light or crystal white light chrysalis the birthing of the transcending of new awareness and understanding this portal of time that we are entering into which I have been constantly aware of is a time of great change far greater than most people come to understand but people like the energy healers who I've talked about a little bit in the beginning of this video they're aware of the dynamics of the changes coming and how we are potentially moving into a whole new 
reality or a whole new proposition for human life and awareness. It's the beginning of the evolution of a whole new paradigm. With that in mind, thank you for joining me for the video and for being aware of this energy and for being interested enough to click on the video to listen to it. I hope that you all become aware of the potential of this new energy around and the freeing up of the limited perspectives or understanding that this is going to allow us to experience and feel as we move into this new energy and time wave. Please leave your thoughts on the video as well as to what you feel the eighth ray under the bottom of the rainbow could mean or how you feel about it or your interpretation to it. So thank you again for tuning in, thank you for subscribing, thank you for listening. Much love, namaste.